Wagwan, wagwan, what's great? Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, welcome and thank you very much for stopping by. My name is Chef Adrian Morris and you're watching Morris Time Cooking. We know about sardines, mackerel, chicken neck, chicken back. No on our waist, no on our dash way. Yes, we are doing um, pork shoulder. So this is... So what kind of pork shoulder are we making today? Round two. Okay. So we have the pimento, um, grind up the pimento. So I'm gonna have it to brown in. Okay. So um, you put about um, six pimento and grind them up with mm -hmm. a teaspoon of browning sauce. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna put some seasoning. You put the seasoning for choice. Okay, so all purpose seasoning. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put plenty of seasoning because you know that's something really mm -hmm. for sure. We know so. so one teaspoon I empty. mommy always mix her all-purpose seasoning with about two different all-purpose okay so you can add a little bit more all-purpose about two to three tablespoons but because of high blood pressure and empty you know after put too much right watching the, the the um sodium intake right yep and this is two pounds of pork shoulder garlic powder okay so a teaspoon of garlic powder mm -hmm. i'm gonna put some black pepper some black pepper okay. so another half teaspoon of black pepper i'm gonna put some onion powder mm -hmm. a teaspoon of onion powder yes yeah, so i'm gonna put the garlic now, get some fresh garlic. You use both the um, powder and fresh garlic. Right. Pork shoulder is already washed and clean with um, lime water and vinegar. And mommy cut them up into nice, let me show you. She cut them up into nice chunks, just like that. Crush the, the, um, garlic. So much garlic you use? Two garlic? Three. Three garlic cloves, okay. You crush them up like that. Some scotch bunny pepper to your spice tolerance. Piece of ginger, and you know, ginger good for going to your pork. Okay, yeah, your right chicken, here. your beef. Just peel off the skin, you don't use the skin, okay? Mm -hmm. Ginger to the top. Get the um, to get the juice going, you just um, crush the ginger a little bit. There you go. So, quarter of a white onion. You can cut the onion in your way and put it. You can cut the long way across here. Whatever you want to cut it. Okay. So now, let's turn up the excess water. You know, you don't wash meat, you got all water, so you drain it out before you have a season. Okay. So now, let's see. Mostly natural seasoning, I can't manage the salt anymore. Add about three teaspoon of all-purpose seasoning low sodium you can add more depending on your health um, restrictions and stuff like that but to get the authentic flavor out of it three tablespoons is ideal right and you're good to go so I'm gonna rub that around up on the run yours yeah looks good so in the dinner settings so you watch subscribe and share mm -hmm. and Pork shoulder, don't hurt it. It's very easy to cook it. Yeah, oh. yeah. So and today, I'm not in the studio today. I'm at home. Mommy, I did the Sunday dinner cooking. So, you're going to hear the kids in the background. How are they? Yeah. 
Yeah, oh, yeah, record me. One of them are in a pond dog and a jump up and down. Yeah. One right side of the pond dog and the boat on the road. Glad that. Okay, Jordan. Everyone running us up. The big chef. Ready for your milk? Right, big chef. So I have some stew beef. This is for me because I don't eat pork. You know what I said? And then the pork of everybody else. I speak over this up. Alright, so we have here two tablespoons of oil. I'm just gonna add the pork to that. Mm -hmm. So, you don't put them all at once because you don't want to get the onions and stuff first. So, we just Use the spoon or a tank to take them out separately and add them into the hot pot. Okay, I'm and I add the oil because this pork is very lean. Yes, no, no. no fat no, on this pork, you know? Don't watch the white oil the white you know, because you know, cook it and you add the you know, brown in, in there. Yeah, so just, we're gonna allow it to, to produce. We're gonna allow it to produce its own art liquid now. Mm -hmm. Just gonna cover it up. Get up now. Take it to my mouth. And allow it to produce the liquid. Beef. So you have over here. The beef. So so you some brown stew pork. beef for me, cause I don't eat pork. So you know the beef. So you have to just put one water in there and make it cook. If you like, it's not chicken, so you have to put a lot of water. Yeah. All right. that, you know, you know, if you had add water for the quality, it's one water cookie. Mm -hmm. and Good to go. Good to go. Uh, so about twenty minutes, or until this comes to a boil and produce liquid enough to make a stew. So here you have the onions and stuff, and I'm pretty sure mommy's gonna add about a thyme. cup of water with some fresh thyme and stuff like that. I'm mm -hmm. gonna use that for the sauce later on. Yes, so it is bringing water as far as I can see. Don't get any water in here. So, you produce this is own liquid. Yes, we have a little lot of water. Now we have a brown in here now. Relax, Marco. Just give that a stir after about 10 minutes, and then you're gonna add more browning sauce to color it to your liking. Yes. Like. So in total, there's two teaspoon of browning, and as I said amount to your desired color because some people don't like it too dark right? but i say you put um ketchup and all these things and sauce that will be the right color mm -hmm. you know what i'm thinking about this yeah so get the right color so you know what i spring people you know add your water as i had no water in it so you turn it low and it's slow slowly cook low and slow The color is coming on beautifully. Mm -hmm. See that? It's nice. Okay, what what are you going to do next? Alright, after it come to near if we cook, we have had um Irish potato carrots and onion, scallion, thyme, and it'll be a ketchup. And let it it's cooked down and thicken yes, up. So nice. When it finished heat, I'm not going to see you know how it's beautiful. Half of an Irish potato mm -hmm. and half of a medium carrot. Yes, because it needs already cooked sauce. Alright, pork is almost ready. I'm gonna add now the carrot, the onion from the beginning. Yes. And that Irish potato. Irish potato will help to thicken the sauce. As well as when you add the ketchup and stuff like that. You're gonna need a lot of water, you know? After you put a low, low heat. You add about half cups of water or half cup, sorry, of water. And thyme in here. So you add, you add a few sprigs of thyme. Yes, and a little bit of ketchup. I'm gonna turn it down now. Now I'm gonna stir it up. And a tablespoon of tomato ketchup. And when dinner ready, when we all see. Alright, so what you say now? You're going to just cover this up, allow mm -hmm. it to cook for a whole lot. 
So about tw okay, see. So what mommy does once she add in her tomato ketchup like that, she doesn't stir it. She just cover it up on low low heat and allow it to come to a boil and slow cook until it becomes stick. Roughly anywhere from 15 to 20 minutes will give you that result. And once that's done, I'll show you what it looks like. There you go. I went out on the road, so by the time everything was done cooking, she transferred from the pot to a container. But there you go, some brown stew pork. Mm -hmm. All right, man.